in this question here they said this line AB here is 98 centimeters in length and that this line AC and line BC are equal in length which is 56.6 centimeters each this angle here angle CED is half the size of this angle CDE here so we can label this X and if this is X this must be half X because of the data given here and they said we should find the respective sizes of angle CDE and angle CED so how can we find the sizes of the angle if we come back here to this triangle ABC here since line AC and line BC are equal that means the triangle is an isosceles triangle with line AB as the base and if line AB is the base the angle facing it is the vortex angle which is this angle here angle ACB while these two angles here are the base angles and I believe that we all know that the base angle in an isosceles triangle are always equal so since we have the length of all the sides of the triangle based on the rule that says any straight line that bisects the base and the vertex angle of an isosceles triangle is perpendicular to the base we can draw a straight line here that bisect this vertex angle here and the base so we already noted that this here is a right angle if we take this side alone here we are having a right angle triangle so from this now we can find the size of this angle here using the Soka tour because we have the length of this sides now from this angle here this here is the opposite this here the hypotenuse because it's facing the right angle and this here the adjacent but we don't have the length of the opposite so it's of no use here but we have the length of the hypotenuse which is 56.6 centimeters and that of the adjacent here since this whole line is 98 centimeters and this line here bisects it this must be 98 divided by 2 which is 49 centimeters so now from this here cos theta equal to adjacent over hypotenuse theta is this angle here in question the adjacent is 49 centimeters and hypotenuse is 56.6 centimeters so cos theta equal to 49 over 56.6 49 over 56.6 is 0 0.8657 to find the exact value of theta we'll find the cos inverse of 0 0.8657 so now theta equal to cos inverse of 0 0.8657 Cos inverse of 0 0.8657 is 30.0373. 0 0.0373 is a very negligible value, so we can approximate it to be equal to 30. So theta equal to 30 degree. Now we have the size of this angle here to be 30 degree. Recall we noted that this angle and this angle here are equal because they are the base angle of the triangle ABC so that means this here also equals 30 degree so if this is 30 degree and this is 30 degree this must be 180 degree minus 30 degree minus 30 degree because the sum of angles in a triangle equals to 180 degree 180 degree minus 30 degree minus 30 degree is 120 degree so then this angle here is 120 degree but in the question we were asked to find the size of this angle here and this angle here so we can use this 120 degree to solve it because if you look this angle here is an exterior angle of this triangle here and if you can recall the triangle rule that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior angles that are opposite to it so that implies that this angle here is equal to the sum of this angle and this angle here but this is x and this is 1 over 2x so to find the exact size of the angles we can form an equation that x plus 1 over 2x equal to 120 degree but this here is a fraction so to make it a whole number we multiply both sides by the denominator of 
the fraction here, which is 2. So here x times 2 is 2x. Here 1 over 2x times 2 is x. And here 120 times 2 is 240. So 2x plus x equal to 240. 2x plus x is 3x. So now 3x equal to 240. To find the exact value of x, we divide both sides by 3. So now 3x over 3 equal to 240 over 3. Here 3 cancels 3. And here 240 divided by 3 equals to 80. So x equal to 80. So substituting x equal to 80 here, this angle equal to 80 degree. While here, 1 over 2x equal to 1 over 2, open bracket, 80, which equals to 80 over 2. So 80 over 2 is 40, and I mean this angle here equal to 40 degree. So we find the size of this angle CED here to be 40 degree, and that of angle CDE to be 80 degree.